If you're looking for a way to embed your Facebook photos onto your WordPress website without any hassle, you've clicked on the right video. In this video, I'll show you how you can easily add a Facebook photos feed like this onto your WordPress website in just a few easy steps. So if you're ready, let's get started. To create a Facebook photos feed, we'll use the Smash Balloon custom Facebook feed pro plugin. It allows us to create great looking and responsive Facebook feeds for WordPress in just a matter of minutes. You can find the plugin and purchase it from smashballoon.com. And once purchased inside your account, you'll find your download link and license key as well. Once you've downloaded the plugin, you can head over to your WordPress dashboard. Go into plugins on the left hand side and press add new. Now click on upload plugin at the top and simply upload the zip file you downloaded for custom Facebook feed pro. Once installed, you can activate the plugin as well. And there we go. The plugin is now installed and ready. Next, let's go and activate our license key before creating our Facebook photos feed. On the left hand side menu, you'll notice we have Facebook feed. Hover over it and click on settings. Then here you can paste your license key and click on activate. Now we're ready to create our new Facebook photos feed. To get started, click on all feeds. Next, click on add new at the top. Our plugin lets you create many different types of Facebook feeds. You can create a feed of posts from your Facebook timeline, a feed of posts from your Facebook page, a feed of videos from your Facebook page, a feed of content from a Facebook album, and so much more. In this video, we're creating a Facebook photos feed. So let's select photos here and click next. Now we have to add the Facebook page where we'll get our photos from. Press add new. And here you'll have to select whether our source is a Facebook page or a Facebook group. Our source is a Facebook page, so I'll leave it like that. Then we can click on connect to Facebook. Next, we have to select the Facebook page that we want to connect to Smash Balloon. This is my page here, so I'll select it and press next. On this screen, I recommend you leave all the options as they are to make sure our Facebook feed functions as intended. All we're doing here is giving read-only access to Smash Balloon, so the plugin can view all the information it needs but won't be able to make any changes to your Facebook account. Let's press done, and you can now see that our account has been linked to Smash Balloon. Now back in our WordPress dashboard, we can select the Facebook page here and press add. Now you have to choose a template for your Facebook feed. Each template provides a unique design for the appearance of your Facebook feed. You can choose from options like default, simple masonry, widget, large grid, and more. Select the one you like the most and click next. And now we get an awesome preview of our Facebook photos feed. We have the profile and cover photos of our Facebook page here, along with the photos in our feed. Before embedding your new Facebook feed, our plugin gives you plenty of options to customize it. Under the Customize tab, you can change the template or feed type you selected earlier. And if you go into Feed Layout, you'll find plenty of options to modify how your feed looks. You can choose layouts like the grid, as we see here, a list layout showing your posts vertically like this, a masonry layout that shows your posts in their true size without any cropping, and even a carousel layout, which is a slideshow carousel that you can swipe through like this. Once you have a layout you like, you can specify how many posts you'd like to show on your feed by modifying it here. And you can even specify the number of columns you want to feature too. For each of these options, you can customize them specifically for tablet and mobile as well. After making your changes, make sure to click on save on the top right corner. Going into header settings, you'll find options to customize the header area of your Facebook feed. You can keep a visual header like this, featuring the Facebook cover and profile photos, or you can select a simple text header like this. You can also modify the title styles, the bio text, and cover photo as well. With custom Facebook Feed Pro, you can also add a like box to your Facebook feed. This is a small box you can place on your feed with a link to your page, a like count, a share button, and a like button as well. With our plugin, you also have options to filter the content on your feed. Under the settings tab, click on filters. Here, you can add words so that your feed only shows content containing those words, or even disallows content with those specific words you chose. On our plugin, you can also view how your feed will look on desktop, tablet, and mobile as well. So you can make sure your feed looks how you want to on all devices. Once you're happy with your new Facebook Photos feed, you can proceed to embed it on your website. To embed your feed, click on Embed on the top right corner. Here, it will show you a dedicated shortcode for your feed. You can copy it like this and click on Add to Page. Then you can select the page you want to add your feed to. Now, when editing your page, you have two different ways to add your Facebook feed. The first method is by adding a short code block and pasting the code we copied earlier like this. Or alternatively, you can use our custom Facebook feed block for Gutenberg like this. Now that our feed has been added to our page, let's see how it looks on the front end of our website. And here it is. Our Facebook photos feed is now live on our web page. And it looks just like the one we saw in the preview, and it's working perfectly. If you'd like to add your Facebook photos feed onto your sidebar or footer, you can do that as well. Just click on embed like before, and instead of clicking on add to a page, click on add to a widget. This will take you into your WordPress widgets menu. In this video, let's add our Facebook photos feed onto our sidebar. You can use one of the two methods I showed you earlier. You can use the shortcode block and paste the shortcode we copied earlier, 
or you can use our custom Facebook feed block. We can now save our sidebar and let's go take a look at what it looks like on the front end. Now on our live page, we've got our sidebar on the right and you can see our Facebook photos feed sitting neatly within. And there you have it, we've successfully added a Facebook feed onto our WordPress website on both a page and on a sidebar as a widget. If you have any questions or need any help with what we've covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. If you want to check out Custom Facebook Feed Pro, you can find a link for it in the description of this video, along with links to all our other social feed plugins for platforms like YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Make sure to check them out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn more about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.